Hi you guys, it's me Danielle. This isn't one of my normal intros, but that's also because this isn't a kind of normal video for me. Uh, as you can see by the title below, this is a follow-up uh, part two to my other Amway video, answering questions and things that I felt that I, I left out. But what you don't know is that I've probably refilmed this video about three times because I wasn't really happy with how I verbalized things each time. And to be totally honest, this video isn't any different. But feel like I can't do other videos until I do this one. So, so throughout this video, I, editing Danielle, will be popping in and out of the video to give clarification or or to answer the question in a way that satisfies me rather than refilming the entire thing. Although it might have just been better that I did. But um, that's all I need to say. So let's just get into the video. Well, I already talked about Amway once. Might as well do it again. This video, as the title says, is a part two to my Amway story video. I've had a fair amount of comments on that video, either sharing their stories or disagreeing with me or asking questions. Some comments were a little bit more aggressive than others. Uh, a lot of the comments were very sweet, supportive, and some were super rational, um, level-headed about their experience and their successes with Amway. But my video was just sharing my experience and my story. And afterwards, I felt like I had left out a bunch of information that maybe wasn't necessary for that video, but I'd just like to do a follow-up to um, maybe uh, fill some gaps or answer some questions that you might have if you um, don't have experience with Amway or are looking for more information out there as well. The first question I really, really want to answer right away so that um, you're not searching through the video for it. Bet you didn't think I'd be back so soon. So when I was looking at my answer for this question, I realized it was entirely uneditable. So to be very blunt about it, MLMs are not pyramid schemes. Pyramid schemes do not have product, whereas MLMs do. That is the main differentiating point, is that one is actually selling product or service, whereas the other is not. So this makes Amway and other MLMs completely legal. Do I like it? No. Am I allowed to be frustrated by it? Yes. Do I recommend it? No. Do I think that it is an unsustainable system? Absolutely. The fact that it has product and thus it is legal doesn't make it a perfect system. The fact still remains that to be a, a diamond level, you cannot simply sell product Product to get ahead. You need to sign up other people, you need to create a downline, and you need them to also be selling, but also consuming the product themselves and becoming a product of the product. Okay, that's it for now. The process was, fair, was very lengthy, and that's a common thread that you'll get from anyone who's gone into Amway is that it is a lengthy process to get into it. I think I went on a total of three meetings before I heard the name Amway even spoken, and that is on purpose. Because there's a lot of connotations about what it is uh, and what it isn't. And people have a lot of feelings about MLMs. Me too. So I did the three meetings, and then I decided, yes, I would like to sign up. Then paid my, my sign-up fee, and I got my starter package from my upline. They helped me get my, my personal website on, which really is just a site that then funnels into the Amway selling site. So it probably took close to a month to maybe a month and a half for me to get signed up. To be really blunt, I think you should be wary of them. It's not that they're bad people, but they are approaching you for a very specific reason, and that is to enlist you into Amway. And one thing that I really try to um, share with my friends and families who are being approached by different MLMs is that these people are taught a script. What they are saying to you, they are saying to everyone else that they are approaching. So if they are saying something to you that makes you feel very special, that makes you feel very singled out, and they are approaching you because of very specific qualities in yourself, it may not be true. I was literally taught a script. I was taught a script of how to talk to people, to get them to come to meetings, to potentially um, sign them up to be my downline and things like that. It, like, it is taught. It isn't something that they are just saying to you alone. Does that, I, oh man, I really hope this is making sense. Because of the pandemic, they're trained to look for people who are looking for a change. And right now, especially with the pandemic, 
if you're out of work, you almost have no reason not to join is kind of their thinking. Just to clarify that, people in Amway are trained to look for people who are looking for a change or looking for something more in their life. And right now with the pandemic, with people being out of work, unable to pay rent, mortgage, put food on the table, support their families, people are looking for something to save them basically. And people in MLMs, not just Amway, are attempting to ride in like white knights to save the day, to give you something that you can aspire to, to give you something that will solve all your problems. And it's just not realistic. I've had a few people comment that they have relatives actively in Amway right now and that they wish that they would leave for various reasons. You cannot force someone to quit Amway. They need to come to that conclusion on their own. So it is incredibly important that you as their relative or their friend or their or some sort of a support system for them are there in a way that they know that you will stick by them no matter what. People get into these MLMs and they kind of alienate themselves from the rest of their friends and family so that when it comes to when they start having questions about it and doubts, they have no one to turn to. It's either they stay in Amway to have that support group or they leave and they have nothing. It's just important for people to know that there are people that will support them outside of this one thing in their life. But yeah, that's all I have to say on the matter. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you would give me a like. And if you feel like you wanna stick around for more videos like this or more personal development, self improvement type stuff, uh, please click that subscribe button and maybe think about clicking that bell icon so you never miss a Monday upload. But uh, until then, uh, be good out there, guys. Bye.